After receiving your product, thoroughly inspect your box for any visual shipping damage. Carefully remove the staples from the box using a screwdriver to pull the staples out slightly so you can grasp them firmly with a pair of pliers. Be careful not to injure yourself with the sharp ends of the staples. Remove the contents of the box, laying them out for pre-inspection, ensuring you have the product manual and the 15-foot combination vacuum and solution hoses with attached 4-inch stainless steel upholstery tool. Grab the handle of the unit and remove it from the box. Remove the plastic wrap from around your unit and unwrap the power cord from the top of your spotter. If you've received a machine that has been winterized, Note the yellow caution sticker on the cap of the solution tank. Read it thoroughly and follow the instructions to run one gallon of water through the system prior to use. Unscrew the recovery cap and reach down inside the machine to remove the yellow vacuum restrictor. The tapered side faces up and restricts the vacuum when the tank is full, indicating it's time to dump the waste from the recovery tank. Replace the yellow float pushing it to the bottom of the recovery tank and screw the lid back on. Locate the on-off switches and make sure they are all in the off position. Also on the back of the spotter, rotate the locking latch and lift the recovery tank from the solution tank. Notice the vacuum motor and gasket. Fill the solution tank with the solution of your choice. Be sure to use the manufacturer's recommended dilution. Exceeding that recommendation may damage the liquid pump. Fill to just below the rim and replace the lid. Replace the recovery tank back onto the solution tank. Rotate the latch back into the locked position. Attach your solution and vacuum hoses to the front of the spotter. The vacuum hose secures to the top outlet and the solution hose connects to the bottom. The quick disconnect coupling needs to have the cover sheath pulled back prior to putting it on the male nipple. This function keeps the coupling from disconnecting. Plug your spotter into an electrical outlet, turn the pump on, and actuate the trigger on the handle until liquid comes out of the spray tip. Stop immediately and turn the pump off. Turn on the heater and let it sit for three minutes. This will bring your heater up to temperature. Turn on the pump and motor. You should now have all three switches in the on positions. You are now ready to clean the most soiled carpet or upholstery. After your job is done, always keep the spot extract above freezing temperatures unless you've winterized it. When using chemicals that leave residue, always put clean water in your solution tank and spray through the entire system. This will remove any chemicals that may clog your jets and filters. Unplug your spotter from the wall, disconnect the vacuum and solution hoses from the front of the machine, and wrap up your cord. To drain the recovery tank, Disconnect it from the solution tank by twisting the latch release. Lift the recovery tank away from the solution tank and take it to a sink or toilet for safe dumping. Replace the recovery tank and latch down and it's ready for your next use. Your spotter is strong and durable and it's designed with a slide out handle and ultra quiet urethane wheels. Team Sandia really appreciates your business. If we can be of any further assistance, please give us a call.